Eric, I know <coughs> you always say you have enough, but between the attrition and just the talent of this Celtics team this season, what was it like pushing through five games and especially trying to push through tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, first of all, uh, it, we're not going to put this on the fact that you know, we've had some injuries. Uh, let's not take anything away from Boston. They were, they've been the best team uh, in basketball all season long. And uh, in this series, in four of the games, um, you know, they played as, as such. Uh, that had nothing to do with the injuries. Uh, it had nothing to do with guys uh, that are available or not available. Um, they played very good basketball. Um, and they probably had something, you know, uh, you know, to motivate them even more against us. But the, they they played at a high level, and they will probably I will not watch one minute of their games, but they'll probably do this, you know, to several teams, you know, from here on out. Uh, they've they've got a very good team. They um, they know what they're doing, um, and they deserve this one. In this situation, what does it say about Bam? That looked like he was he was going to play every second of the game until the fourth quarter. Yeah, and come out I, and also take as many shots as he did and take care of the load. I think I looked at a box score. We're down a thousand. So uh, yeah, I had every intention of playing him 48 minutes tonight um, if the game was within reach. He's he's you know Bam's a warrior. He'll, he'll battle and. Um, you know, he brought they brought a competitive spirit uh, tonight, uh, but collectively we um, we were far from from our best uh, tonight. And and again, uh, you have to credit Boston. They 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 took control of this game. Um, you could sense that they wanted this to end right now. You know, tonight and, and not let this thing get uh, get back to Miami. That's uh, that's a sign of uh, a mature team. I know it's early and not the moment necessarily, but this season, when you look back on it, is there a feeling of after what happened last season, failing to measure up, or was this an unusual ride because of sort of how it played out along the yeah, way? Yeah, it's probably a little bit of everything. It's disappointing the way it, uh, it ended. Um, there are disappointing uh, moments uh, of the season. There are moments where I really thought that we grew from a lot of the adversity. Uh, you know, and um, we'll have plenty of time, you know, to go through the autopsy uh, on, on, on the regular season. Um, it was super competitive in both conferences, and two or three wins, you know, could make monumental differences. I, I, I think to play Boston this year, I think we would have needed, you know, two rounds to get better um, from the competition to somehow survive and advance. Uh, the first round, survive and advance second round. By the time you get to the Eastern Conference Finals, you're a totally different team uh, from those experiences. We would have needed those experiences together and, um, you know, really earn some, some tough things, uh, I think, to, to face this team, you know, where they are now. Um, but we'll never know. Um, but in the first round, you know, they were very good. Eric, you mentioned that um, the Celtics were – you saw some maturity from the Celtics. Is that something that you're seeing in them this year that maybe you haven't in the past that they're kind of growing into this? Yeah, I don't know. You know, the playoffs always will reveal. You know, I thought they were really good last year. Going into our series and, and the conference finals, I had the utmost respect, you know, for them and what they did all year. And, um, you yeah, I think that was a perfect example. We, we were hardened and we were – much better from the play-in, uh, the first round, second round. By the time we faced them, we were razor sharp uh, and ready for that that cage fight. Um, but I'm sure yeah, but they've they've definitely uh, improved. Um, you know, the roster they've you know, done a really good job with that, and they had a, a very good uh, regular season. Obviously, it didn't go the way you guys wanted to go. But what did you learn about Nico? And Jaime just in this series, kind of them stepping into those roles. Um, yeah, I got to reflect. Um, you know, um, these experiences uh, are important for Nico. Um, and I think Jaime, you know, has a little bit more experience, you know, from a lot of uh, college experiences. Uh, Nico, you know, got a full education on how important every single detail 
every single possession, all of those things, um, you know, how they really matter uh, in the playoffs. Uh, and, you know, he'll be motivated to have a really important, uh, productive offseason. He has to really get after it again. He made tremendous progress last offseason, the, the six weeks leading up into Summer League and then uh, the World Cup. Uh, but or the World Championships, uh, and I'll need another summer like that. Um, the Olympics will help, but I think uh, getting a little bit of rest, getting healthy, getting uh, you know away from it, but then building his body back up, and then working on his player development, and and really preparing for that um, summer uh, will be important as well. You know, he's 20, so I always do need to remind myself of that. I hold him to an extremely high standard because our standards are not going to change. Our expectations are always going to be championship level expectations. And yes, I'm expecting him to rise to that. Is he there now? No. Uh, am I going to stop driving him and pushing him? No. Um, but I've been very encouraged by the progress that he's made, in particular in the last 12 months. You know, he didn't play at all in last year's playoff run. And so really what you're talking about is June all the way until now, the type of progress he made is, has been pretty significant. All right, thank you.